Hi Gumbo. How are you liking it in there? all right so welcome back to boisterous cock farmstead so it's been kind of a crazy day for me today i planned to move my boars over earlier this morning or at least i made the made the plan this morning to move them over i was going to wait till asher took his nap uh oh you okay and um, so when I came out uh, about three hours later to move them, I found that uh, two of my boars, Shaw, the smaller guinea hog boar, and, um, and Heath had gotten out underneath a fence that uh, I guess just over time, it's just the staples have loosened up and they were motivated enough this morning that they pushed out underneath the fence. So I'll show you that here. So this is where you can see they've kind of been pushing up against here, a bunch of dirt and everything's all piled up here. And so what happened was this lost the staple at the bottom of the post here and uh, allowed them to be able to pull this up or slide out from underneath there. So I'll have to repair that. I'll work on repairing that here once my wife gets home. And uh, But right now, Asher and I are just walking around. He's checking everything out, making, every, making sure everybody's doing good. Come here, Bubby. Come here. We'll go over and take a look at where the boars and pumpkin are now. So you can see that they've, they're in an area that has much more food for them. They should be long-term happier, but uh, I'll have to keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't bust out for any reason. Hey, pumpkin. How you doing, girl? Well, you can see there's tons of green in this area now. And actually, I needed to move them out here just so that they could actually keep the green under control. I showed in my previous video that the amaranth gets up to my chest level and uh, Come on, bub. Asher. Come on. Asher. Come on. The amaranth gets up to my chest level. So right now it's probably mid thigh, knee to mid thigh out in this pasture area or paddock. And so I want them to be grazing on this and kind of keep it in check as best they can and uh, keep it from getting really, really tall, hopefully. And uh, if I need to, I can rotate these guys back over there and bring uh, my main herd, which has 10 pigs in it, over here and uh, get a few more mouths on it. But right now there's four of them in here uh, with the three boars and pumpkin. So they should be, they should be able to do some. There's Heath, one of the troublemakers today. So our connection with the food bank, or at least our, our connection with our neighbor through the food bank, 
I guess there was somebody that had been picking up more food and like they're not picking up the food. So instead of getting food every two or three days, uh, we're going to be getting it like every day. Uh, so one downside of that, I don't want to, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth, but one downside of that is all the trash. Um, so I've got, this is all the stuff that I, that I threw out to my pigs this morning. And there's all kinds of like wrappers and we get a lot of expired salads and things like that. So all the plastic um, packaging that comes with that is all in here. We got some expired milk. So we got a bunch of milk jugs and obviously I've talked about this before is the cardboard. So for right now, I'm just stockpiling all this cardboard. So if anybody out there has a really good idea for what I should do with the, the cardboard, I do have some ideas, um, but I'm going to wait till the fall to use some, uh, as a weed blocker slash, um, layered compost type in my garden. Uh, I did start some more compost here, which is from leaves and chicken manure. Um, so I'm trying to get that ready to go primarily for when I transplant my trees. I want to make sure that I've got, I've got a lot of compost, uh, to go down into the holes, um, for when those get transplanted. But, uh, we still don't have any piglets. We're kind of day to day on that. I'm, I'm basically just waiting for Tootsie to build her nest. Hi, Tootsie. You gonna have those babies soon? Hey. And as soon as she does that, <clears throat> excuse me. As soon as she does that, we'll know we're on the, the short clock. So it's 12 to 24 hours from the time that they actually build their little nest um, till they deliver. And it's usually the following night. So if they build it during the day, it's usually during the night that they have their, their litter. No, we're not going in there again, baby. We're not going in there again, sorry. We'll go check out the boars again. Asher wants to walk back over there apparently. We got Gumbo and Heath here. We got, there's Gumbo in the front and there's Heath in the back there. Oh, Shaw's behind him too. That's all three boars there. See pumpkins over in the, uh, the wallow over there. What? No, we're not going back in there. We're not going back in there. Come on, let's go walking this way. Girls! Hello, Grish. Sweet girl. We're gonna give the good girls here some extra bread. Late comers there. Come on girls. <clears throat> We've got half of them in. There's usually two or three that kind of straggle out there until dark. Anyway, I'll show you. I came over here and did as good of a fix as I could on this area that they snuck out underneath the fence. And I'll show you what happened. Uh, so for, for starters, these are all posts that were here when we bought this place. And I tried to work with what was already already here um, the downside is that 
a lot of these are just really degraded, uh, especially at the bottom. Um, and like this, for instance, here, there's almost nothing to screw into this. This right here has stripped out the the lug for the uh, gate there. But I'll show you what I did was I took one of these railroad ties and that actually had been along the bottom here on the outside, but I put it on the inside and then I just put some fencing staples all along here. So they actually have to lift that whole thing up. Um, and I don't even know if they can get it up now because I took some of the bend out of the fence with stapling it there. Um, cause I stapled it on the top and on the bottom of that, uh, of that railroad tie. So that should keep them from digging out from underneath. Um, but if it becomes a problem again, I'll, I'll figure something out, but I've had for a long time. I've had issues. You see, I've got a bunch of these railroad ties around the, the bottom in the areas where we get wallows. Um, it's really bad in the monsoon seasons when we get heavy, heavy rain, everything collects down here and the pigs will wallow up against the fence and they end up just kind of wearing the mud away on, or wearing the dirt away on the bottom end, bottom edge of the, of the fence. So I've got three or four places, um, along and like I said, it's it's pretty much just where they wallow, um, with maybe one exception, um, and that being the exception there. So, anyway, I'm going to call it a night for now. We appreciate our viewers, and I uh, want to say thank you. And again, if you would please share this video, give us a thumbs up, give us a comment down in the comment section um, about anything that, that I did in these videos or if you guys have any uh, ideas for me, um, I'm, I'm more than willing to listen and uh, try out some new stuff. That's what we're here for is me throwing out a bunch of ideas to you guys and if you've got any good feedback for me, um, I'd appreciate hearing from it. Keep grief the bugs got mosquitoes and flies. So anyway, I'm trying to get these guys in and uh, go get some dinner. So uh, that's it for now. Bye.